Apron. Apron. Blender. Blender. Bottle. Bottle. Bowl. Bowl. Burner. Burner. Cabinet. Cabinet. Can opener. Can opener. Chair. Chair. Coffee machine. Coffee machine. Colander. Colander. Corkscrew. Corkscrew. Countertop. Countertop. Crockery. Crockery. Cup, mug. Cup, mug. Cupboard. Cupboard. Dish, plate, dish soap, dish soap, dishwasher, dishwasher, faucet, tap. Faucet, tap. Fork. Fork. Freezer. Freezer. Fridge, refrigerator. Fridge, refrigerator. Frying pan. Frying pan. Funnel. Funnel. Glass. Glass. Greater. Greater. Ice tray. 
ice tray. Kettle. Kettle. Knife. Knife. Ladle. Ladle. Microwave. Microwave. Mixer. Mixer. Mortar. Mortar. Napkin. Napkin. Oven. Oven. Oven mitt. Oven mitt. Paper towel. Paper towel. Pitcher, jug. Pitcher, jug. Pot. Pot. Rolling pin. Rolling pin. Saucepan. Saucepan. Scale. Scale. Scissors. Scissors. Sink. Sink. Spatula. Spatula. Sponge. Sponge. Spoon. Spoon. Stove. Stove. Table. Table. Teapot. Teapot. Tin foil. Tin foil. Toaster. Toaster. Trash can. Trash can. Tray. Tray. Vegetable peeler. Vegetable peeler. Whisk. 
Whisk. Guys, amazing. I, I, I think if you pay careful attention, obviously, guys, obviously, you're going to have the link. All right. I'm going to tell you good evening, guys. Welcome to our class. And I imagine last class with teacher Crystal, you were uh, talking also around the house. So we have been talking everything about the house, preposition, everything is coming up and we are putting it together. Okay. But tonight, me, I'm going to be in charge of teaching you new vocabulary about the kitchen. All right. So there are many words. So I think kitchen, I think is one of the places of the house where you're going to have more and more vocabulary. Okay. It's not like the living room. Okay. Which is very easy. You know, I imagine you remember vocabulary about the living room. Okay. I'm going to start quickly showing you something that maybe teacher Christos uh, show you, or, or maybe he show you different thing, but teacher Alirio today, very quickly, I'm going to let you watch, okay, things about the living room. Okay, yo me imagino que con el profe Cristo se estuvieron viendo eh, vocabulario acerca de la sala. Yo hoy voy a mostrarles en cinco minutos una presentación de vocabulario, okay, de la sala y vamos a mirar en el chat. Quienes recuerdan palabras. All right, guys. So please remember, it's very important if you are attending this class. Number one, write down your full name. It's very important. Full name, name and surname. Name and surname. All the time. Vamos a escribir siempre que nos conectemos a la clase nombre y apellido. All right, very good, guys. So I'm going to show you things that maybe you can find in the living room. This is very common. It's a DVD, uh, maybe not a day DVD uh, are not so in fashion as before because different uh, television platforms, Sasha, Netflix, uh, Sasha, uh, maybe um, Disney Channel or uh, Amazon, you know, so this is so many ones today. So maybe you are not renting movies these days a lot okay and it's because of netflix and these television new platforms that are incredible all right very good so a dvd uh is uh, something that you use uh, just to play uh, a dvd uh, that is uh, like a storage um device and you just watch a movie okay thanks to this gadget all right, very good, guys. Every time that we have like a new word, you know what we are going to do. Last class with me, you learn a lot of vocabulary, guys. All right, so I imagine everybody is studying a lot of vocabulary. It's my advice for all of you. All right, so we are going to just start writing down here new words every time that we find them. Okay, so teacher is going to write the vocabulary here. All right, very good. So guys, welcome back. And yeah, this is DVD is a very famous gadget. Do you remember uh, the Inspector Gadget was very famous cartoon back in my time. You know, gadget because all of the gadget that he used to have just uh, to get a solution to different problems. Okay, I remember very good Inspector Gadget. All right, so this is a DVD. This is very common. Okay, it's a TV, television, sometimes people in a very informal way, people say tele. In Spanish, it's like la tele, all right? People also say this common word. Okay, I'm going to move it on. Okay, I know there is something that you find in a house nowadays. Maybe they are not so common. In the past, they actually were, and they were a lot. And I'm talking about a home phone. Okay, a home phone is not a cell phone, not a smartphone. It's a fixed line that uh, you've got at home. Maybe nowadays they are not so popular as before because everybody's got a smartphone, cell phones, you know, that is very common. So maybe a home or office phones, maybe office phone because it's business, that's different. Okay, but many, many people, including me, Many people, including me, guys, uh, we don't have uh, like um, uh, one of these. Okay, so I'm going to show you again. So maybe now everybody can see. Okay, guys, this is a DVD. 
As I tell you, a television, telly, you use a television to watch different programs. I imagine Netflix uh, is shown on TV, all right? So obviously you need like a membership, you know, to pay some money. It's not so expensive and you're gonna have different uh, content. Uh, you know, drama, science fiction, horror movies, thrillers, Western. There are many different ones, all right? I'm going to show you another. This is what I was talking to you. It's a home phone. Actually, nowadays, you can find many, many office phones as well, all right? This is very common, especially in the living room. It's a base. It's big, big one, beautiful, decorative. They are colorful, colorful. And usually, usually people put flowers in it, all right? Flowers, lots of flower, and it's going to look just great. It's a base. I'm going to write it to you. It's a base, okay? Don't forget vocabulary, no? Okay, you know what is the purpose of these classes. All right, so please don't forget it. Inside a living room, another very common thing is a lamp. It's not necessary to say that. It's very easy. Vocabulary is a lamp. Or sometimes you say a table lamp, okay, because you just put it aside on a little table. Okay, very good. I'm going to just move it. This is a picture, a picture, okay? Sometimes it's decorative and um, it looks just great on a big wall in the living room. Okay, uh, in this case, you can see, uh, I don't remember the name, okay, the, she's very famous, okay, the siren, but I don't remember, uh, all right, maybe you remember her name, okay, very good, Gabriel, uh, something like that, all right, very good, this is another good one, is a fireplace, I'm gonna write it down, not all the houses got a fireplace, okay, a fireplace is luxurious, uh, sometimes rich people or people who's got beautiful houses, mansions, things like that. Okay, they've got one of these one, especially they are incredible when it's very, very extremely cold or simply just listening that cracking wood sound when it's burning. Okay, for me, it's just uh, relaxing. Okay, so it's, it's, it's just good. All right, I'm going to show you another. Okay, this is a, a night table, night table or corner table. It's also called corner table. I'm gonna um, write it down here, corner. Uh, so sorry, guys, corner table. It's not necessary to say why people say corner table, you know, it's because all the time it's placed in the corner or uh, in one of the corner of the uh, living room. Okay, so that is why I tell you, okay, this one. Okay, next one is a caution. Very common word, okay? I'm gonna write it down. It's not the same when you say pillow. Sometimes people are confused. Teacher, teacher, what is the difference? When you say pillow, okay, pillow is the one that you use to lay, uh, lean, sorry, your head on and sleep, okay? That is especially used in your bed and it's inside your bedroom. But remember that today we are not talking about the bedroom at all, okay? We are giving extra vocabulary about the living room. That is why for me, please don't forget, a cushion is this. What you can see here is a cushion. Sometimes it's beautiful because as you can see this one, it's got like a bird, beautiful, it's an owl, okay? It's an animal, decorative, beautiful, okay? Sometimes you just put it, okay, behind your back, okay? Just to get some rest, okay? Very good, especially on the sofa, on the sofa. Okay, very good. Uh, hey, I just mentioned the word. Um, this is for two or at the most three people, and it's a sofa. It's written down exactly like in Spanish, no difference, sofa. The only difference is the pronunciation because in Spanish it's sofa, okay? But you say sofa. All right, it's big one. And sometimes, okay, you are just right there with, with, with some members of your family, you know, watching a movie and spending a good time. Okay, good one is what you open in the morning and what you just close uh, late at night when you're going to bed or when your mother is turning off uh, the lights inside the house and it's about the time to hit the hay, you go out of bed. Okay, so this is curtains. I'm gonna uh, show you and I'm gonna write down also the word, 
Okay, so you're gonna see it's a curtain. Okay, sometimes people use curtains, okay, because they don't let people to see inside the house, you know, so that block, okay, the, the view. Sometimes it, it is good, you know, all right. Uh, another one is an arm share. It's a kind of share, but it's very important because they are usually used um, uh, together with a sofa. All right, so they are called armchair and they are called armchair. Cleaner. You can lay down your arms and get some uh, relaxing time there. Okay, so very good. So guys, this is just some of the vocabulary that teach a little, I uh, wanted to show you. All right, it's about last class. Okay, Christos talk about the living room. Is not my business. The living room, <laughs> you know. Hey, but teacher Alivio just want to give you some vocabulary about this. I imagine that some of these words, maybe one or two, okay, were new one or even pronunciation just uh, was good to practice as well. Okay, very good, guys. I'm going to move it. And right now, the idea is we are going to introduce, okay, actually what is our uh, class about tonight. Okay, so we are gonna talk about different elements that you can find inside a kitchen. Okay, that's very important, all right? Because as I mentioned to you before, I can surely say that kitchen is one of the places God, okay, more and more vocabulary, okay? It's not difficult, but I think it's a good advice, guys. If maybe you are very attentive about vocabulary. All right, so it's, it's, it's teacher's uh, Alidio's advice. Okay, very good. So let's start with this. Let me, I'm gonna just use a different presentation. This way maybe uh, we are gonna watch the images much better. Okay, very good. So please guys, pay careful attention because actually this is what our class is all about tonight. It things that you can find inside a kitchen, restaurants, that is why this vocabulary is going to be very good. All right, I'm going to just start with my first one. All right, this looks like a pressure um, a, a, a pressure pot, but it's not. It's a simply pot, okay? I'm going to tell you this one. It's a pot. I would like you to be very careful with this word because actually it's got different connotations, okay? When I say connotation is... Is because depend on the place or the context, where or in which you decide to use the word, maybe it's gonna have a different uh, meaning or as I mentioned to all of you before connotation. Why I say this? When you say pot in Spanish, it's something that you use just to cook inside the kitchen. Uh, most of the time it's metallic and you use like a lid to cover it. All right, in Spanish it's like olla. All right, oh yeah, uh, very good. But sometimes pot is a very informal way to call marijuana. And I would like you to be very careful, you know, pot. Miren que esa palabra también es la forma en la que en la calle se le llama a la marihuana. Y algunas veces la olla, no la olla donde venden eso, sino la olla literal que utilizo para cocinar. All right, so let's say that this is a pot. What can I cook inside a pot, okay, as a cacho, soup, different kind of meals, all right? So don't forget that it's a pot. It sounds good. It's plastic pot, okay? Very good. Teacher is going to show you the next one, okay? Um, there's like a short and a long version of this word, okay? So I'm going to start with the short version, all right? Because there are two different ways as you can uh, pronounce write or say this word, okay? Number one, guys, is uh, the word a pen, okay? Hey, sounds like familiar, this word, because in Spanish, when you say pan, okay, is what you eat in the breakfast. But in English, uh, pen, and listen to the pronunciation because it's not the same that uh, we usually use in Spanish at all. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys, it's pen. Sometimes, as I mentioned to you, people use like a long version of the word, okay? This is optional. It's not um, 
compulsory or mandatory is up to you. If you want to say it longer, say it longer. But if you prefer to say the word shorter, hey, say it shorter. There is no problem. Okay, as I mentioned to you, you have two different ways, the long and the short, the short and the long. Which one um, do you like? Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so a frying pan is like in Spanish sartén. Okay, very good. Hey, why people use a frying pan? For example, if you tell me mainly, mainly is to fry eggs. If I want, for example, scrambled eggs or eggs with a ham or bacon, you know, I use a fry pan and I prepare my eggs for my breakfast. Okay, not only for eggs, uh, people use a frying pan for different purposes, okay? Depending on what you actually are cooking in the kitchen. Okay, very good. So please don't forget the vocabulary. I'm gonna just move it. I'm gonna show you this one nowadays. People's got them, still got them. They are maybe for some of you old fashioned things because actually a uh, coffee maker, okay, I'm gonna write down, okay, a uh, uh, coffee maker. Uh, sorry. Guys, when I say coffee maker, it's like a machine that people nowadays use to prepare coffee. You just add two, three, four spoonful of coffee inside coffee maker, press a button, and that's all you gotta do. In the next 10 minutes, you're gonna have hot coffee, smelling good, and uh, it's automatic a machine, uh, actually, that prepares this, okay? But if you see, if you see, this is different. For example, I'm gonna show you, teacher, what is a coffee maker? Hey, I'm gonna use it. Let's write it down the word, coffee maker. And what happened if I say coffee maker? Okay, you're gonna see a coffee maker. For example, teacher Alirios got this coffee maker. Okay, I got this one. Okay, this is very good. You know, I just press, put my coffee and that's all. This is a coffee maker. This is a machine, it's a gadget. Is electrical, you need power to use. Obviously, it's gonna prepare, keep the coffee hot, okay? But you're gonna spend electricity and money. Okay, this one, the one that you can see on the picture is another version, obviously it's not electrical, you know? And it's called a kettle, okay? I'm gonna write it down. They are very famous as well, you know? You say kettle, okay? So a kettle, is also used in the kitchen to prepare um, um, coffee, okay? And if got a, um, a sound uh, very uh, particular, you know? Uh, sometimes I, 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 I think that sounds is what made this uh, actually um, artifact, okay, interesting. You know, uh, actually, is 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 the truth. Okay, so it's like a hissing sound. It's como como un sonido que silba, como que silba la olla. All right, makes a very incredible uh, whistling whistling sound. All right, very it's very incredible. Okay, and hey, let me tell you, coffee mm, tastes extremely good when people prepare the coffee in a kettle. Okay, my question is, guys. Do you like coffee? Uh, if you like coffee, how do you like your coffee? Do you prefer your coffee in a kettle or you prefer your coffee in a coffee maker? Okay, please on the chat, tell me your opinion. What is better for you, a kettle or a coffee maker, guys? Okay, let me see, okay, the answers on the chat. Okay, guys, tell me. What is better for you when you're gonna drink coffee? A kettle or a coffee maker? Please answer on the chat, Lucelena. Thank you, teacher. Ah, coffee maker. All right, coffee maker. Okay, maybe. Please, guys, another Nicolas Molina teacher. Coffee maker. Sandra Milena, Sandra, like the teacher. <laughs> teacher in a kettle. For me, it's like uh, more handcrafting. In Spanish, handcrafting is artesanal. Okay, so for me, okay, uh, uh, it's good in a coffee maker. Usually I've got a coffee maker too. Okay, but when it's handmade, handmade, 
Is, 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 for me, everything is, is much better. Cuando todo se hace a mano, con aparatos, nada eléctrico, miren cómo se dice. En uh, inglés, you say, so sorry, guys. You say, handmade. Y esta palabra quiero que no la olvides, porque todo lo que es artesanía es hecho a mano. ¿Y cómo se dice eso en inglés? Handmade. All right, very good. Okay, I'm going to just move it. Uh, thank you for your answers, guys. Yeah, teacher, also like coffee maker. Okay, I'm not going to say no. Okay, very good. I'm going to show you another. Look at this one. Uh, this got two different ways that you can call it. In Spanish, it's plato. Uh, but you got to be very careful because in, Sp uh, in English, people usually, usually say plate. Plate. Uh, but there is another, um, I'm going to say like a synonym, all right, and is dish. But I would like to explain this for people who maybe are related uh, to this business uh, or maybe people who actually go to these places a lot. Para los que van mucho a restaurantes o trabajan o tienen que ver mucho con ellos. Okay, please pay attention about what teacher Alir is going to tell you now. Is what is actually the difference between plate and dish? Sometimes exactly the same. Sometimes it's exactly the same. Sometimes a plate or a dish is what people use to serve the food or the meal on. Okay, so that's very easy. Rice or a salad or a fish. Maybe you're going to need a plate or a dish. But sometimes when we say dish, um, for example, you say main dish. If you go, for example, to Frisbee. Frisbee is a very well-known commercial chain or chicken restaurants in Colombia. You know, and when you go to Frisbee, you don't need to be a genius. What's the main dish in Frisbee? Hey, the main dish in Frisbee is chicken. <laughs> All right? Because it's the only thing that you're going to find, obviously, in different presentation, broster, uh, fried, uh, you know, but it's chicken. All right? So that is the main dish. Uh, if you go to a, a seafood restaurant, maybe the main, main dish is, uh, uh, for example, a, a seafood soup, cazuela de mariscos, all right, seafood soup, okay, so maybe you're going to see all um, the seafood uh, just right there is delicious, and maybe that is the main dish. Algunas veces, para los que venden comida de mar, el plato principal que se vende en esos lugares es la cazuela de mariscos. All right, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Plato principal, el plato de la casa, lo mejor que aquí se vende. All right, in English is main dish. All right, please don't forget vocabulary. That is why you are here. Por eso estás aquí, por estas palabras que estamos aprendiendo. All right, next one. And I would like just to be uh, very um, careful with this because I don't know, guys, why people sometimes get confused. I'm going to show you uh, now um, an image And I think with this is going to be very evident what is actually the difference. Okay, so teacher Alirio is going to write down plate versus bowl. All right, so what is the difference? Hey, see the difference. When we talk about this, look, I think this is actually the difference. We are going to uh, just see it this way. You know, this is a plate. A plate is even. A plate is even. Miren cómo se dice en inglés um, llano. O en inglés cómo se dice plano, flat. Llano o plano, even or flat. All right, so maybe when you use plate, it's impossible to serve the soup because you're going to spill the soup. Vas a regar la sopa si la sirves en un plato. It's not plate. It's not dish. When you are talking about soup, You need a bowl. You need a bowl. Okay, so this is a bowl. They are very famous, especially in uh, Oriental cuisine. Um, very common uh, um, dish that people use. Uh, this bowl, uh, full of vegetable with chopped chicken and teriyaki sauce. Oh, God, man, that's very delicious. All right, uh, guys, do you like Oriental or Chinese or Japanese or Korean 
uh, cuisine. That is delicious. A lot of vegetable, uh, you know, and seafood. Okay, very good. So this is a bowl. Bowl. Okay, very good. All right. Maybe if you want to drink something, this is a good option. Uh, no good option for soft drinks or, or sodas. Um, actually, it's uncommon. Es muy raro servir una gaseosa en uno de estos, ¿cierto? La limonada? No. All right. These ones are especially um, or well unknown because they are used especially for hot drinks. For example, like chocolate or, for example, coffee or maybe tea. All right, so maybe if you're gonna drink any of those, you're gonna need a cup. All right, sounds good, that word. Okay, bear this word in mind is a cup. So, so sometimes is actually what you ask uh, for when you're in a cafeteria. Okay, excuse me, excuse me, could you please bring me a cup of coffee? All right, so maybe the person is gonna ask you um, dark or light. Say no, dark. Okay, dark is another way some people say strong. I mean, strong is like the teacher loves coffee. I, I, I love coffee, guys. And actually, to be honest, I didn't uh, drink coffee when I was a child. Uh, it was late in my life, but not a day. I should like can say that coffee is absolutely, absolutely coffee is one of my favorite drinks. And to be honest, and this is no exaggerating, I can drink like around or more or less 10 cups of coffee a day. 10! Yes, the, I know, I know. Sometimes people say it's no good, but hey, it's, it's, it's hard because it's extremely delicious, you know? Especially the smell. I, I'm not talking about the flavor. Please, it's too much to deal with. So sometimes I would like to resist, uh, but the smells calls me. Yes, and actually it's what I keep doing, okay? All time, <laughs> okay, drinking coffee. All right, very good, guys. I'm gonna just move it. Uh, this is very important uh, vocabulary, especially um because when you go uh to a restaurant you're gonna need uh, these ones you know especially depend on uh what you're gonna uh, eat you're gonna eat soup or you're gonna eat rice or you're gonna eat is depend on that so guys let's write down okay this one in english you say cutlery okay and i could like you to be very careful with this incredible pronunciation all right so uh, you say in english the pronunciation guys is cutlery all right let me see cutlery you can listen uh to uh, this all right so let's see so is cutlery and cutlery is different ones Different ones. This is the pronunciation. Cutlery. 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 Okay, cutlery is, I'm going to just show you, because it's very important to know this, is all the ones that you can see on the screen. Cuando digo esa palabra, es todos los que ves ahí. Cutlery. 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 And this is obviously number one, is a knife. Is the very first one we've got there. Primero que tenemos allí, knife, un cuchillo. Okay, a second is a fork, un tenedor, fork. And the last one, guys, you can see there is a spoon. All right, so please don't forget. So this is a spoon, double O. All right, but all of them, all of them, when they are together, Okay, they are called cutlery, and that is why I'm going to emphasize this in this color. Okay, cutlery is different ones. Okay, I'm going to just move it. Pay attention to this incredible vocabulary, guys. Okay, so please don't forget cutlery. This is a knife. This is a fork. And this is a spoon. And they are called cutlery. 
Okay, very good. I'm gonna move it. Yeah, very common. Especially if you wanna drink Coke, lemonade, water, uh, you know, you're gonna need, they are crystal. Okay, so you gotta pay attention because if you drop them, you're gonna break the glass, you know? So please don't forget the word is glass. Okay, so you say, please, I'm thirsty. Uh, could you please give me a glass of water? Glass of water. You, <laughs> you drink and you just kill your thirst. Matas la sed. Okay, very good. I'm going to show you another. Uh, and please pay attention because all things teacher is telling you right now are things that you find inside a kitchen or maybe in a restaurant. This one that I'm going to call you, they are made of few different uh, materials. Este lo hacen en dos materiales diferentes. This is made of in two different materials. Material number one is paper. Lo hacen de papel. Sometimes. Sometimes they are in cloth. Y algunas veces lo hacen en tela. Mira cómo se dice tela. All right. In Spanish, you said servilleta. Okay, uh, if the restaurant is very fine, uh, it's luxurious, all right? So maybe you're going to find beautiful, uh, you know, um, a neat um, napkins, and, and that is just great. Algunas son hasta hermosas bordadas con los nombres de los restaurantes, y yeah, they, they, they are just incredible, okay? They, they look nice on table. And sometimes, you know why it's good? Some waitress or waiters, they make like decorations with napkins like flowers or animals. Y alguna gente con esas servilletas, algunos meseros que son muy, ¿cierto? Saben hacer animales, una rosa, una vela con la servilleta y la ponen ahí encima de la mesa and looks magnificent. All right, very good, guys. I'm going to move it. This is another very important thing we, we are going to find inside is the kitchen counter. The kitchen counter. I'm going to write it down, kitchen counter. All right, kitchen counter. So people use it just to, uh, you know, to prepare all the, the dishes to be washed up, you know? So please don't forget this is counter. I don't know why, yes, it's exactly what I say. Ah, capital letter, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, sometimes our moms open the drawers, abren los gabinetes, mira cómo se dice gabinetes. All right, open the drawers and they uh, save or they keep their, the catering, los cubiertos, or sometimes uh, classes or the cockery or, or, or la soya, la losa. Crockery, okay, that is a very interesting word. Esa palabra la quiero recuperar porque me encanta esa palabra. Quiero que nunca la vayas a olvidar. Se dice crockery, crockery. Y suena muy bonita, ¿no? Es una palabra muy americana. Losa. Teacher, what is the pronunciation? Crockery. Crockery. Okay, so please don't forget. Crockery is everything that you use just to prepare your meals in the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to just uh, move it on. And uh, next one, th this looks all not a day you can find beautiful ones, you know, uh, but actually people use them to prepare. Uh, they've got like burners, tienen diferentes hornillas, los quemadores, mira cómo se dice en inglés eso, las hornillas, burner. And this is called a stuff, like stuff, okay, a stuff, okay? Don't be confused. There is another that people also use it uh, just for preparing meals is a microwave, okay? These words with waves, they trabaja con ondas, microondas, and uh, the meal, si calienta las comidas, okay? Uh, when we talk about this, commonly it's got two, two uh, sets or sometimes four sets, de cuatro puestos. Mira cómo se dice puestos, ¿no? Cuando hablamos de las cosas de la cocina, se dice four sets, Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. I'm going to move it on. Very, 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 very common. Uh, sometimes people forget to a uh, class uh, when they are washing up. And sometimes our mothers, okay, are remembering us, okay, or reminding us doing this, okay? Federico, again, mom, the sink. 
I can listen the water. Okay, yeah, that's right, mom, on my way there. Okay, so guys, what, what teacher Alirio is telling you? In English, you say sing. And I would like you to be very careful, because hay gente que lo confunde. Okay? Um, there is another that is wash basin. Y, y te lo quiero mostrar para que tú no vayas a olvidar. Algunas veces, incluso para los británicos o los americanos, no sé si es lo mismo, ok, pero quiero hacerte un énfasis en este. All right, very good. I'm going to show you a sink y lo vamos a marcar con la palabra kitchen para que todos miremos que es el contexto en la cocina. Ok, for example, this is a sink. El lavaplatos. Aquí le decimos lavaplatos, donde se lava la losa. All right, very good. Sometimes uh, you need to be uh, careful because there is another that is wash basin, okay? But wash basin sometimes is not related to the kitchen, but it's more related to the bathroom. All right, I'm gonna show it to you. Y quiero que no lo vayas a olvidar porque hay gente que tiene problemas serios, mis muchachos. Eh, no es lo mismo un lavaplato que un lavamanos. Entonces el lavamanos se dice wash basin, este que ves acá, wash basin, uh, and the other is sink. Y el otro es sink. No vayas a olvidar, uh, please, that sink is as well a verb. Esto también es un verbo, ¿cierto? Y es que cuando yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, acá con una imagen que es sink, miren lo que él me va a mostrar, ¿ok? Uh, vamos a colocarle la palabra boat para que veas lo que es esto. Y si lo ves, hundirse un bote. Entonces, cuando tú ves la palabra sink, eh, eso tiene connotación en dos lugares. O estás en el mar y eso es hundirse, no te fue mal, es mala suerte, ¿cierto? O es en una cocina el lavaplatos. Mira lo importante que es con una imagen para que no lo vayas a olvidar. All right, very good, guys. I'm gonna just move it. So this is uh, the sink. So the idea is if you are a volunteer in your family, because remember, guys, we need to cooperate. We need to be helpful. If our mom of our father or brother prepares uh, the breakfast, the lunch, or the dinner, hey, you should be a volunteer to wash up, okay? Don't forget this vocabulary is very important in the kitchen. And in English is wash up. Miren cómo se dice en inglés lavar la losa. Se dice en inglés wash up. Si lo quieres decir de una manera más informal, you can say it this uh, way. Okay, in English is do the washing up. Lavar la losa, Federico, do the washing up. Mom, immediately on my way. It's going to be a pleasure, mom. Okay, the spaghetti was delicious. Okay, so go and do the washing up. Okay, your mom already did a lot. Okay, very good. I'm going to move it. Uh, when you go uh, shopping, uh, This is the main intention. The main intention when you go shopping or the idea when you go shopping is to keep the refrigerator full. Full of food. And when I say food, I'm talking about vegetables. I'm talking about uh, uh, fruits. I'm talking about different things that you are going to consume or you are going to eat in your house for some days, okay? So it's incredible when we see our refrigerator full of food. That is why we need to be very grateful to God uh, because guys, not a day in this current world, uh, this is one of the main problems, food. Uh, number one, uh, because it's hard to get and it's very expensive, you know? I don't want to imagine the future. In the future, the situation will be harder and harder because the more people, the more people, okay, less food, more people, less food, more people, less resources. Entre más gente, menos comida y menos recursos. All right, sometimes is, is the problem. People sometimes use synonyms. Uh, sometimes people say fridge. Algunas veces la gente al refrigerador o a la que nosotros llamamos la nevera, la gente le dice fridge. Some other times people prefer the word refrigerator. Okay, so I'm going to tell you either of one. Hey, be uh, very careful. Uh, no es lo mismo el congelador. En inglés congelador se dice freezer. Donde pones el hielo, el pollo a congelar. 
All right, la nevera es la otra parte, ¿no? All right, bear that in mind because sometimes not the same. Okay, very good. I'm gonna just move it. Look at this one. Uh, this place is the place where lots of things are supposed to be hiding from you. <laughs> okay, people say uh, cabinets. Cabinets. All right, I'm gonna just write it here. Cabinets. Okay. I think that's not very difficult because you know, cabinets are used to storage. Se utilizan para almacenar a los gabinetes de la cocina. All right. Santo, la gente le dice algunas veces los muebles de la cocina porque también son algunas veces hechos en madera. All right. Entonces vamos a tenerlo muy pendiente. Son other times people say a la cena. A la cena. If you prefer to say a la cena, you say cold board. A cold board is a cabinet. La alacena también es un, un gabinete, pero hay gente que le dice a la cena y en inglés a la cena se dice cold board. All right. I remember, okay, when you think about a cold board, it's actually where our grannies keep hiding the cookies. Ahí es donde nuestras abuelitas dicen que esconden las galletas. Okay, that, that, that is hard because you know where, because the smell, you are looking for the cookies inside the cold board to eat that little one out of those delicious ones. Okay, very good. So please, cabinets. I'm going to show you another. This is um, uh, an electronic, electrical gadget. It's called microwave. Y quiero que le prestes mucha atención a la palabra wave. Es más, te la voy a colocar eh, enfatizada en un color rojo y vamos a darle como tamaño, como para que no lo olvidemos. Wave traduce muchas cosas. Number one, wave is what you say. Uh, I mean, when you say hello, but there's a distance between maybe you and the person. Si hay una distancia entre tú y la gente y vas a saludar, tú gritas y mueves la mano. ¿Cómo se dice ese saludo en inglés? Se dice wave. ¿Listo? Saludar a la distancia. What is another thing that maybe wave me? ¿Qué traduce wave cuando no es eso? Uh, if you go uh, to go to the beach and you love surf, surfing, so maybe you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's because when people surf, it's because they surf on waves. Si la gente surfea, lo hace sobre las olas. ¿Cómo se dice la ola del mar? Se dice wave. Wave, when we are talking about physics, cuando hablamos de la física, technology, uh, is ondas. That is why you say microwave, microondas. All right, wow. Lots of meanings. Yes, man. We're trying to get some of them. You know, that's good. Ooh, important. Because it's here, guys, where actually you drain, okay, uh, the dishes. Aquí es donde tú pones a secar, uh, en inglés, eh, los platos. ¿Cómo se dice secar? Bueno, secar vamos a decirlo drain porque uno los pone a drenar, como a que escurran, como decimos nosotros en nuestro argot eh, popular aquí en Colombia, ¿no? Ponga los platos a escurrir. Cierto, escurrir es que ellos solitos ahí, no es que yo voy a doblar los platos como si fuera un trapo, esa es otra manera de decir escurrir, cierto, pero esa sí es, es más diferente porque esa se dice en inglés squeeze, que es cuando utilizas tus dos manos, cierto, eh, eh, para lograrlo, ¿no? Entonces squeeze, tú le haces el, el cierto, squeeze, uh, ok, squish, voy a decirlo con tus manos, así es diferente, ¿no? All right, very good. So, this is called, actually, in English, and please don't forget it, is a dish rack, ¿ok? El escurridor de platos, a dish rack, ¿ok? So, if you finish washing up, ¿ok? So, is the dish rack where you gotta place the dishes to drain. Aquí los pones a secar. Another, oh, very good. Sometimes people don't like fresh bread. I don't know why. Okay. And they love a toaster. Or as American people say, toaster. Okay. Is toast. Lo conocemos aquí en Colombia por eh, el café, el, el tostado, como se dice, eh, tostar en inglés. But toaster es la tostadora. All right. People use it, okay, just to uh, deshidrate the bread. And it's going to sound like... <laughs> You know, cracking. Okay, this is the sound. Okay, and this one, uh, let's say that is one of the most famous uh, tools used in the kitchen for any chef. 
And sometimes there are good ones that used to shop and use it very, uh, you know, skillfully. Okay, this is a knife. Okay, y algunos chefs lo utilizan de manera muy habilidosa para hacer cortes de peces y cosas increíbles. All right, is this one. Okay, guys, I imagine and I know I understand they are a lot of words, it's a lot of vocabulary, but, but guys, you know what is our intention every time that we gather around? Uh, the intention is expand our jargon, uh, learn more words, uh, to know more vocabulary. And thank God tonight, maybe we could do it once again, okay? So guys, Teacher Alio is going to tell you for all the attention, for all the willingness to learn. Thank you so much. And remember, we are going to be talking about the kitchen in our next class because it's more and more vocabulary. Guys, bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher.